This is a Blaring Out with Eric Blair show coming to you from the Whiskey A Go Go in beautiful Hollywood, California for the Rock Against MS Benefit concert in honor of Penny Maglieri with the Iron Maiden. Kirsten, otherwise known as Bruce Chickenson, singer. Wanda, known as Steph Harris, bass player. Courtney Cox, lead guitar. Linda McDonald, Nikki McBrain on drums. What is important about this benefit to you? It's a great cause. Sadly, so many people are are afflicted with MS, including myself. Really? I was just diagnosed a couple of years ago. Yes, but um, another thing that I really love about this benefit is that it supports people that have MS, but it doesn't support animal research. That's very important to me. How did you and the Iron Maidens get attached to the Rock Against MS benefit? Well, actually, I've known Nancy, uh, you know, through social media, but tonight is the first night that we've actually met in person, but we have a m mutual friend who does animal activism, and that's really how she and Nancy connected, and she brought us all together. But I've known about this benefit for years, and I've always wanted the band to do it, even before I was diagnosed with it. Aside from the things that Kirsten had mentioned, the original drummer for Iron Maiden, Clive Burr, had MS also, and that was his eventual demise. That means a lot to me, and a lot of people out there too. It means a lot to all of us. I actually heard that Iron Maiden took care of it. Yes, they actually did benefits, they raised money, and they helped him out the best that they could. That's what bandmates and friends do. He was my favorite drummer in Iron Maiden. The way he hit, it was punchy. Nothing against Nico. I love Nico McBrain's drumming too. But Clyde Burr was more punk-ish and very attitude-y and very energy-oriented and he's the reason that I play drums. Linda, tell me about the inception of the Iron Maidens. Oh my. Well, it was actually the brainchild of the very first singer, Jen Taylor Warren. She was in a Maiden tribute band that was co-ed and she had been wanting to turn it all female for quite some time. I was one of the last puzzle pieces in that mix and that's what happened. How have you seen the band evolve over the years? It went from just something fun, something to do in our spare time, um, and it is still fun. Just through the years, you know, like any relationship, any band, anything goes through changes and whatnot, and it's a tribute band. The material is already written for you, so you're gonna have the same songs, but each band member change that we had just kind of brought it to the next level. And here we are. 21 well, years later. This current lineup is yeah. going on 10, 10 12 years, 10 years, longer. at least 10 years. The band itself has been oh, no. together for 21 years now, so we're at about half the lifespan with current members. One of the amazing things about the Iron Maidens is you are the first tribute band to play Wacken. It's just a, the most insane experience, just, you know, looking out and seeing, what, 80,000 people, I think? Some the attendance, like yeah. That. Singing That's every all. word. Is the rock and roll dream realized at that point? Probably. I wasn't even thinking about that. I, I was just happy to be there, and it was such a great experience. I, I couldn't believe we even got invited, so I hope we get invited again. Did you bond with any of the other rock stars that played that day? Evakin, it's like camp for rock stars. You're just walking to catering or to the bathroom or whatever. They're, oh, oh, you know, there's so-and-so from Slipknot or there's so-and-so from Behemoth or Arch Enemy or whatever. And yeah, everyone is super friendly, super cool. And people were so supportive and just really kind to us. Yeah, it was, it really was cool to hang out with the cool kids for sure. Nice. Well, you are the cool kids now, right? Maybe. I hope Depends so. Depends on who you're talking yeah, to. Yeah. Paul Diano versus Bruce Dickinson. As much as I love Paul, I will side with Bruce just for vocal. But I love Paul, too. I'm partial to Bruce only because he was the singer when I first got into Iron Maiden. I'm going to go Bruce, but I love both. Both because I love both eras. I'm a big fan of the early era. And Bruce excels at his era, and Diano excels at his era. If you could only have one Iron Maiden record for the rest of your life, what would it be? Power Slave. Maybe Power Slave. Somewhere in time. I would have my my car tape, which has all the albums on it. Oh! <laughs> She cheated. I, what is next for you guys? Uh, oh, we got a show this weekend in Corona. Then we got some shows in Florida. And then uh, more shows in Mexico. And next year, we are touring Europe with Accept. Wow. Yeah. We're like, wow. Pinch me, pinch me. All right, this is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show. Coming to you from the Rock Against MS Benefit with the Iron Maiden signing off. Bye-bye. The Blaring Out show.